Well, there's been a commercial negotiation that's been underway for about the last year after the Link Alliance, who are the, the company who performs the work, uh, put a claim in uh, because of uh, delays and increased costs as a result of COVID-19. This was a work site which was severely affected during the Auckland lockdowns and by material and labour cost increases linked to COVID um, and they have raised that um, uh, formally with us in this process. Um, that information is now in front of us, it's effectively a request to the sp two sponsors being uh, the Crown and Auckland Council and we'll consider that in the coming weeks. How much will the Crown um consider paying, you know, 50% of the blowout, all of the blowout? Yeah, well the, the arrangement in terms of CRL across governance and costs is that it is a 50-50 partnership between Auckland Council and the Crown. Both parties do need to consider this information that's come forward, um, but that is the arrangement that we have in place. It's worth saying that this project is essential uh, to Auckland's development. We need a functional mass rapid transit system. It doubles the capacity of the existing rail network. It's the equivalent of 16 lanes of traffic coming into the central city. So it's important we move forward with it and we just need to deal with this carefully over the coming weeks. So you consider the Crown's um, share of the blowout to be half? Well, well the, the, the existing arrangements are that. That is just a point of fact. It's a partnership that is 50-50 in terms of governance, uh, in terms of costs. Minister, at what point do you look at drawing the line? Um, because this is a new billion dollar blowout, there's only been a blowout. Another one. It, it, it's important just to be clear around these things. Um, the, 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 the first cost increase which came in a couple of years ago was because the previous government underscoped the project and put platforms in that were too short. Uh, it wasn't a blowout, it was the fact that our government was recognising that we need to do this properly and so we put additional investment in to do that. Um, this time around it is due to COVID-19 increased costs. That is not unique to the CRL project. Every significant horizontal and vertical infrastructure project in New Zealand virtually and around the world is facing those pressures at the moment. Suggesting that it's a blowout suggests that the, the, the company and the people who are doing the work have done something wrong. I think we are just dealing with the realities of a post-COVID environment where costs do increase. Um, so we need to consider this carefully. It is important that in what has been presented to us we have a full and final claim. Um, so there is the ability through the settlement of this claim to have absolute certainty about the final costs. Back to CRL, how can we ensure no further budget and time blowouts? Uh, because as a, as a result of this settlement we now have a full and final uh, cost for the project. That has been an important part of the negotiations between CRL and the Link Alliance that while there is an additional cost here that is being sought that it is the full and final package for the project. Will there be support for businesses in the area? Uh, well, our, our government has already put in place a, a support package for local businesses that's paid out over $4 million uh, to support some of those local businesses who have experienced uh, challenges and disruptions to their businesses in the C3 area which has been the main construction impacted zone. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.